In the UK, 18% of the population is older than 65. In 30 years, they will represent nearly a quarter of the population. There is a problem growing here, especially when we know that more than half of them is living alone. 41% of them report that TV is their main form of company. Loneliness itself increases the likelihood of mortality by 26%. On the other hand, there is an issue where generations are becoming more and more disconnected and intergenerational education is getting lost. An old African proverb says that when an elder dies, a library burns, leaving all the knowledge behind. What if this two issue could be the key for a different way of learning? Think about it. There is a growing number of people out there who spent a lifetime learning, practicing and mastering some skills. Isn't it too bad to throw it all away? Why don't we use some of these elders within our educational system? Why don't we create a formalized way of learning? going from primary to high school and even beyond where twice a month students would attend a workshop conducted by an elder person. So a school in the school. Why don't we stop burning books? Why don't we build the old school? I wanted to know what people thought about it. it there is a strong sense at the moment that, that there is a growing sort of divide between older and younger generations. Um, I think the fact that we do have an ageing population, you know, is, is, is going to bring challenges. Mental health for older people, dementia, Alzheimer's, all of these things are going to be a huge burden on society. And um, the state, or possibly society in general, has to address that problem. And those older people can do um, healthy things to keep them going, to be fit. They won't be a burden on society. So, yes, I think it's going to change how society works and it's going to have to change um, quite drastically within the next 10 years. Older people love talking to young people. It opens up their understanding of things by talking to your generation and younger. Because you can see it with grandparents and grandchildren, a kind of special relationship often because maybe grandparents have time and they don't have the responsibility and you can see how that really works. Um, so I think if you can initiate more projects where younger people connect with older people, I think that, that would be worth its weight in gold. And each generation can learn from the other. So yeah, that's a great project to have to, to try and encourage that taking some of the workload off the um, regular class teachers because they, they are overworked, you know, everywhere they're overworked. Some really, truly amazing things that you would never think retired people could do. And they can also put things back into their community. Valuing and giving an opportunity or a platform for them to share the skills that they have is hugely important because it, 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 it sort of it's going to make you feel relevant, isn't it, that you can still contribute and engage with the world. Well, you, f you feel you're making a difference because it's one of the main things, best things a teacher can do. Just give children that feeling that they can do anything. But that's the rewarding thing, to know that you're creating the children of tomorrow, the, the adults of tomorrow, and you, you're giving them the skills they need to succeed in life. That's very rewarding. Just having a fulfilled life, basically, and having reasons to be places and reasons to get up and feeling valued and feeling like you're contributing is, 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 is invaluable to people. It's Everyone knows lonely people, you know, everywhere. And loneliness is bad for your health.
how to teach people outside of the formal education system in something like a retirement home or a hospital. And they don't realise that entertainment is also edu it's educational because they're learning and enjoying it. You, you learn things, skills from, from more experienced people. For example, elderly, uh, in, order to, in order to be an experienced, skillful person, you, time is quite important. So that means older people or elderly people have more experience and more skills. So you would want to learn some skills from um, those people. Yeah. So. so yes, I think that looking at strategies for incorporating that into our life is really important. So yeah, the idea of a school. I really like your idea of it being something that's formalised. And so it's as sort of, um, it's as logical as going to primary school, as going to middle school, as going to high school, and, and that it becomes part of that system. I think that's quite an interesting idea.